Hello friends. This is Angela from Art of Creation Homestead. Welcome to our kitchen. Today we are doing another episode of what to do with all these eggs. This one is another one that is by request. This is my butterscotch pie. If you've never had a homemade butterscotch pie, you are missing out my friend because it is divine. That's the best way I can put it. It is just simply divine. And it sounds so hard to make, but it's actually so simple. Made with just simple ingredients that are just delicious. So here we go. Let's get started. We have a cup of very firmly packed light brown sugar. We have a good pinch of salt and we have a fourth of a cup of cornstarch. So just like, just like with my other recipes, with my other pie recipes, if you've been watching them, if not, then I think you need to go back and watch. <laughs> we will use the brown sugar as an abrasive and we will let that break up all the lumps in your cornstarch and see it worked beautifully see now there's no lumps the only lumps you see there are from the brown sugar and that will take care of itself just like brown sugar always does to this this mixture right here we are going to add two and a third cups of whole milk works best with whole milk you can use two percent but it works best with whole milk and we are adding a third of a cup of heavy cream if you don't have heavy cream, you can just add a cup and, and two thirds of milk, but it's so much better with that heavy cream. That heavy cream really, really does great things for it. And in here, we have three large egg yolks from our beautiful girls. Get all that egg yolk out. You don't want to miss any of that because it's going to make your pie nice and rich. So, don't want to miss any of this milk, either, milk and heavy cream mixture either, because that's, that's beautiful as well. So, now you want to take your whisk, and you want to make sure those egg yolks are nice and broke up. You want to make sure everything's nice and, well, that egg yolk don't want to break. Sometimes you get that with fresh eggs. <laughs> the egg yolks tend to not want to break good strong egg yolks um, now you want to whisk that nice and good and as you can see it's that beautiful butterscotch color already now you want to give it a good hard whisk give it a good hard whisk and make sure those eggs are in there now there we go now you want to take out your whisk now this is a heavy bottom pot I'm using stainless steel and this is very heavy bottom. If you have a thin bottom pot and it's not and it's really thin, you will want to make sure that you put your heat on medium low because it will start to scorch if your pot is too thin. If it's nice and thick like this one, then you can go ahead and turn it on medium. And while I'm starting to stir this, see at this point you want to make sure that you switch to either a spoon a wooden spoon something like that something you like to use to stir with or what my favorite for making pies is a silicone spatula this one is the one that is scooped in that is often referred to as a spoonula it just scrapes down everything it scrapes down your sides it scrapes down the bottom of your pot it scrapes down everything beautifully so you don't have to worry about leaving anything in behind in the corners or anything like that. So while I'm starting to stir this, you want to stir this constantly. Do not walk away from it. Do not go answer the phone. Do not go let the dog out. The dog will just have to cross his legs. You don't want to leave this because you, you do not want your egg yolks to curdle because they will, your egg yolks will start to curdle and then you will end up with scrambled eggs in your butterscotch pie. 
which does not make for a good butterscotch pie. That is no ingredient that should be in a butterscotch pie. <laughs> so, you also want one deep dish pie crust. You can, and it baked according to package directions or according to your recipe directions. You can use store-bought. You can use your favorite homemade. Today, I'm running short on time again. <laughs> So I'm, I'm taking a little help from the store. Uh, I promise you, I do know how to make a good homemade pie crust. I just haven't had time. <laughs> but there's no shame in it. I'm telling you, there's no shame in it. And you wanna keep this moving as it heats. You wanna keep this mixture stirring. Keep scraping the bottom down. Keep scraping the bottom, keep scraping the sides. And we'll be back and show you what it looks like when it starts to get thick. We're back. It's been about 10 minutes or less, probably less than 10 minutes. And we're already starting to thicken. See, you can see that solid. See, I hope you can see that. You can see that solid on the spoon. When you scrape the bottom of your pot, you get some solids. See? And you want to keep that moving. Keep scraping the bottom. The minute this this gets thick enough, you want to take it off the heat. Now, you want to give, give it another good scrape across the bottom and across the sides and in the corners. Don't forget the corners. Scrape it down real good. Now, we're going to switch to our whisk. And we're going to start giving it a good whisk because whisking it at this point breaks up any lumps that start to form makes it a nice smooth and creamy consistency whisking at this point is is the key because it really makes it creamy it really really makes it creamy and delicious now do not remove this from the heat until you are very thick because otherwise it will not continue to thicken very well <laughs> once you put it in the pie crust so you want to make sure that it is nice and thick and rich before you ever pull it from the heat. And let me tell you, the smell in your house when you make homemade butterscotch pie, oh my word, it, it smells divine in here. The smell is unlike any other smell that you've ever smelled. And to me, <laughs> This is an amazing smell because for those of you who don't know, I have a thing about brown sugar. <laughs> I love me some brown sugar. It, it's just one of those things that is just a comforting flavor to me. As you can see, it's starting to get nice and thick. It's leaving whisk trails when you stir it. Now you wanna keep it going because it's not yet thick enough to pull. So you want it to get nice and thick before you pull it. Now at this point, it is gonna to start to splatter a little. It is gonna to start to pop and splatter a little. Just don't let it splatter on you. It'll be like molten lava. See, now it's starting to get nice and thick. At this point, you wanna turn the heat off. You wanna grab your spatula because you're gonna need it too. And get this off the heat. Okay, now we're off the heat. You want to continue to whisk, and I'm going to add in four tablespoons of butter, of unsalted butter. If you use salted, skip the salt in the other step. And about two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. And you want to whisk that in really good. And this smells so good. You want to whisk that in. Now I'm going to switch back to my, my silicone spatula. That way I can scrape down everything and get all that nice and incorporated. See, now we're getting nice and incorporated. Make sure that butter is completely melted. See, we're nice and thick. Now we're going to pour it into our pie crust. Oh, that is delicious. And as I always tell you, 
leave a little behind in the pot for the chef. You have to taste your food. You can't give it to your, your guest without tasting it. As you can see, my pie crust kind of sunk down a little. It'll be fine. Oh man, that, that is delicious. I just licked that little bit off my finger. Oh, there's nothing like butterscotch. Homemade butterscotch pie. Let me tell you, once you try making homemade butterscotch pie, because you can also use this filling as just a good butterscotch pudding, you will never go back to that box mix again because let me tell you, that stuff don't even taste like real butterscotch. This is beyond delicious. Now, just like I've told you with the other pie recipes, you want to lay a piece of plastic wrap down completely on top of the pie. If you have any air bubbles in the plastic wrap, raise it back up, push it down because this will prevent you from getting the skin on your pie as it chills. Now we're gonna put this in the refrigerator for about four hours, about four to five hours really, until it sets up nice and firm. And then I'll come back and show you how we top it. And then we will taste it. Oh, can't wait for that part. Okay, our beautiful butterscotch pie has been in the refrigerator. It's nice and chilled now. And I gotta tell you, this really, it truly is probably my favorite pie. You, it's just hard to beat a homemade butterscotch pie. So now, the little tr trick I t I've taught you about the plastic wrap, it works beautifully with this one as well. See? No skin on it. And see, it, it's so pretty. That butterscotch pie is so beautiful. Just like with the other pies, you can top it with meringue, you can top it with ready whip, cool whip, fresh sweetened whipped cream, or honestly, with a butterscotch pie, you don't, you don't really need any topping at all. It's just so amazing on its own. But I do like fresh sweetened whipped cream with it. So all I did was whip some fresh cream with a little bit of powdered sugar and some vanilla and now we're just going to spread that on and a nice even layer and there is your beautiful butterscotch pie. I promise you, you can't beat homemade butterscotch pie. Once you taste this, you will never go back to the old box mix stuff because you will realize just how good butterscotch truly really is. And I'm sure Jason will tell you the same thing when he tastes it come dessert time. All right, now it's time to taste test this lovely piece of pie. It looks beautiful. And look, look at that setup. Woo, they falling out, is it? Nope, just not going nowhere. Beautiful. That's a heck of a lot better than a box mix. Nice. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I can change myself. It's outstanding. It's, if you don't think you like butterscotch pie, or for whatever reason, or because you don't like butterscotch pudding out of the box, try this. It's not the same. It's a world of difference. <laughs> it's not the same. I didn't like butterscotch pie until I had butterscotch pie. I mean, it was outstanding. So, um, if you're interested in it, obviously, check it out make it it's delicious you won't regret it so okay good do us a favor give us a thumbs up like this uh, video subscribe if you haven't already so you can get more videos like this and um more gardening cooking canning you know chickens whatever it is that we're doing we do a lot of different things and so um, just click the, bell for, click the bell for notifications so that you know when we're doing this uh these things uh we appreciate you guys watching uh my name is jason that's angela k we love you guys god bless you and goodbye